Hey guys, it's Bro you Wax. So earlier in the week, I made a video talking about the expectations for the 2020 Lunar New Year event, specifically the year of the Tiger event taking place in Overwatch in a couple of weeks. And usually after I do an expectations video of an Overwatch event, I always like to follow it up with a video where I just look at skin ideas that I'd like to see come into the event. One, because I think it's fun to look at fan-made skins and give them the recognition that they deserve. But also the second reason is that we get to possibly make a video where Blizzard could possibly watch it and actually make some good skins in Overwatch, which they always usually do. They always do a great job, especially when it comes to the Lunar New Year event. They not only do a great job at surprising us by giving us some great skins that we wouldn't expect, but also kind of give us a little piece of Asian culture that a lot of people on the Western part of the world don't really know about. And I can definitely speak on my behalf because, well, growing up in the United States, we're not really taught much about the Lunar New Year. So whenever this event does come around, I'm always appreciative of the effort that the Overwatch team tries to do dig into the culture of just the Asian continent region itself. But what kind of skins do I want to see come to the year of the Tiger event this year? Well, in my previous video, I did say that I did want this Tiger Winston skin because it is the year of the Tiger event, but typically Blizzard never brings an animal inspired skin based on the animal that is being celebrated, even though eventually they do, but I really wouldn't be surprised if they were to bring some sort of like rat skin for Junkrat, even though the year of the rat was already celebrated. But while that's an annoying part about the Lunar event, not not bringing a skin for the animal that is being celebrated. Another thing is that Blizzard always makes sprays for heroes where they put them in different outfits, but they never bring those skins into like actual skin formation. And they specifically done this with Mercy, Doomfist, and Widowmaker from previous Lunar New Year sprays. They have in like traditional like Lunar outfits where Doomfist has a freaking dragon as his Doomfist that I think those would make excellent Lunar New Year skins. But I wouldn't hold your breath because they just have never made a spray into an actual skin beforehand, and I don't know if they're gonna start now, even though these skins would look awesome. But even though we would love to see those sprays be made into actual skins, one thing that we also can't expect are two specific skins coming to heroes that have yet to receive any Lunar New Year love, and that of course is Soldier 76 and Sigma. Two very polar opposite heroes when you think of the Lunar New Year event. Even though anybody can celebrate it, I, I mean there are just some heroes that you kind of expect skins for, like Genji or Hanzo, or even Symmetra, because she He's technically Asian too. And I think the Overwatch team ran into that same issue when trying to make Lunar inspired skins for these two heroes. Like, what can we really make? I mean, one idea that I thought of was putting Soldier 76 in a traditional chef's outfit. But then I realized you already kind of have a chef's outfit with Grill Master. Plus, if you're going to put anybody in like a sushi or traditional Asian chef's outfit, I mean, you have so many different Asian heroes like Genji. That would be a great hero to put into that skin concept. One, because he would fit a lot better and I feel like it would be a little bit more appropriate. Appropriate, but also too, it look way cooler because he already has a gigantic blade that he can make into a gigantic like chef's knife. Like the more I think about this chef's skin idea, it makes me wonder why we haven't seen that already. Plus, it would also be a great time to bring back Chef Uwak because, well, then maybe more people would be interested in Chef Uwak if there was an actual chef's skin <laughs> in Overwatch. And since this is the lunar event, and since the dragon is a big celebratory figure of this festival, you know, let's just continue to give heroes dragon dragon skins, even though we already got like, what, two, three dragon skins? I mean, we got like five pirate skins, so I don't think giving Zenyatta a dragon skin would be all too hurtful of the dragon skin concept of Overwatch. Zenyatta has always been a very unique hero design skins around, but has always been one of my favorites because he is this omnic floating being thing. He's not a human, but he's also not like a traditional robot like Bastion, but he's very simple in design where you can really make him into anything. You just gotta transform his ball into like a unique design. And the balls here are like this spinny fishy design, but it's mainly the head that we're focused on. That's the star of the show in the form of a dragon, making up a majority of this skin's personality, which I always love a good dragon skin design. I mean, who doesn't like a dragon skin design? But if we're talking about a skin idea that I think everybody would love, I saw the skin concept art and I fell in love with it. One, because I just finished Death Note, but two, it is perfect for this hero. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Shimigami Reaper skin. Reaper, of course, is the edgy boy that we've come to know and love, where deep down inside, you, you know he's a cowboy that just wants to be pet and loved. But on the outside, he has this cold, dark, and demonic depiction of him, where him being a Shimigami for the Lunar New Year event, similar like a Banshee skin for Mora, I think would be a very, very, very good idea for Reaper. Somebody that is supposed to be an escort of the humans in the living world to the world of 
of death. Kind of similar like how Death Note is. Like, that's why I referenced Death Note earlier because, well, Shimigamis were popularized by that anime. Now, if we can get some actual crossover skins with Death Note probably making it the greatest skin crossover concept in all of video game history, that would be amazing, Overwatch. Like, can we please get some more crossover skins? It makes you wonder. Like, while Reaper would definitely be the Shimigami, who do you think Light would... Who do you think L would be? Do you think L and Light would be, like, Soldier 76 and... Well, Reapers are the Shimigami, and they were kind of like the two guys going at it with each other. It also makes you think, who do you think Misa would be? Would it be Widowmaker? Nah, she's not really the clingy and ignoring type. Wait a sec, no, it'd be Mercy! She, she already kind of has a skin that's built like Misa with the blonde pigtails with pink Mercy. And plus, she is clingy! She clings onto Pharaoh with dear life, hoping that Pharaoh will just give her a little bit of love, just like me. I just bought a little bit of love. I want Death Note skins in Overwatch, but I definitely want to see this Shimigami Reaper skin, especially with the Lunar New Year event. This Japanese demonic ghost folktale creature. Like, let's get some more of that, please. Speaking of demons, let's talk about Hanzo. God, how I hate this hero, but I can't deny that Hanzo skins, they, they, they sometimes slap. They're not the best. I, I still won't give him any credit. However, if they were to bring a Karasu skin for Hanzo, I, I might rethink it. Now, I already know what you think. Are you wacky? There's already a Genji skin where it has this exact same concept. Yeah, which is why this would be a great addition for Hanzo specifically. Nobody else can get another Karasu skin than Hanzo. I mean, like I said previously, we got five pirate skins. And if we were to have another bird skin shared between the two brothers, I think that would actually make a lot of sense to have both of them have a similar shared skin. Like, I'm kind of surprised they don't have shared skins already, being that well, they're literally the same kind of person. They were at one point the only person, but then they divided the two because they were super overpowered, even no, Hanzo's still overpowered, but that's besides the point. But the skin concept for Hanzo, I absolutely adore. One, because it hides Hanzo's ugly face and replaces it with a bird-like mask, but you also see the little details seen throughout the skin, like the upper torso. It's like a traditional outfit that you'd see Hanzo in, but then you see like demonic like faces and his knees and even in the bow, but also the dragons. The dragons change to like Karasus or, or crows as they're also known in the West, which is something that Blizzard and the Overwatch team never do for skins anymore has changed like the accessories of heroes. They've only changed his dragons into wolves with his base legendary skin set back when Overwatch originally came out. And it kind of baffles me because he received so many skins that you think they would change his dragons at least one other time other than just the time that they made him into a furry. So I think this would be a good opportunity to change his dragons into crows to make it possibly one of the best Hanzo skins. But if we're talking about best skins of all time, then we gotta talk about a Bob skin and, and Ash. Fine, she could be included too. <laughs> so I really like this skin concept for Ash and Bob, where Bob is sort of like this Jizo statue. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's what Bob is trying to represent. Maybe he's just supposed to be this samurai and he's built like a statue that sort of looks like a Jizo from Mario Odyssey at Bowser's Castle, <laughs> which is the only reason why I even know what that statue is. Now, when I look at the skin, it's not like it blows my mind. I do feel like this could be like an epic skin, part of the weekly skin challenges of the event. I mainly just like it because of Bob and also because of Ash's gun. I do like how they have the wood grain finish and almost make it look like a double barrel shotgun. But like I mentioned before, it's nothing crazy like Shimigami Reaper or even the Hanzo skin that I talked about beforehand. Just a nice lunar skin that you would come to expect from this event. But now the final skin concept that I wanted to talk about is gonna be another Zenyatta skin. I don't know, just something about Zenyatta and lunar skins just hit different. But this is actually a skin inspired from Indian folklore. Like I don't know if this is like still kind of a part of the lunar event because well, India is still a part of the Asian continent, which the Asian continent really celebrates the lunar event, but it's mainly just because of the skin that I want to see it in the game. And this is Zenyatta's Asura skin. Now, for everybody that doesn't know what an Asura is, let me just dispose upon you some information that I just learned about five minutes ago. Basically, it's a demigod that's trying to seek out power. And with the Zenyatta skin, I do feel like it's a little bit of an opposite effect. Like, you wouldn't expect Zenyatta to be like this demigod, super brawlic character because he's very smart and monk like. But that's the appeal of this kind of skin for Zenyatta is that he could be anything that he wants. He could be a nutcracker, he could be a baseball player, he can literally be <laughs> a Cthulhu, or he could be a demigod. 
Plus, it also just looks like a really sick skin with the skulls replacing his orb and also his face being replaced by this demonic-like mask and flames coming out of it. But then the transcendence, oh, it'd be so cool to see a lot more like weaponry be involved rather than just his hands spreading harmony all over me. Nah, spread some demonic energy onto me, please, Zenyatta. <laughs> I just really like the Zenyatta skin. I feel like it's a good skin to end this video on, but let me know what skins you hope to see from the year of the tiger event. I know so many people are going to want to see a tiger skin, whether it's for Winston or whether it's for Bob or whether it's even for Zenyatta. I'm sure Zenyatta could easily get a tiger skin, but I always appreciate the different kinds of skins that they bring with the lunar event because we definitely do not ever expect it. Like we can come up with so many ideas and we can hope that they can bring it and they always deliver on some really clever ideas that otherwise wouldn't have been unfolded if it wasn't for the Overwatch team's effort to try to teach us about Chinese and just overall Asian culture. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.